What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Patreon request. This is from Nino on Patreon. This is Guts from Berserk. That sort of close up, sort of crazy looking image of him. You know, he's like, he's got this big crazy looking smile and his eye is closed. So let's go. Landscape page, pencil, eraser, hit pause if we go too fast. Center point to my page about here. Come across and we start with his eye. So typical, kind of anime eye, except it's like it's a real thick line. So, let's go. So we'll go diagonal and then across. Close up on the face now, right? Across like that. And then we gotta make this line real thick because we're real close up on his face, so. Right, like so. And then the bottom eye, eyelid, comes across. And up. Around to the corner of the eye here. So, then there's like extra lines just kind of around. Lots of them. It seems like there's eyelash lines and stuff sticking off here, but I'm not quite... It looks like eyelash lines. And there's lots of hatching on this, and that's kind of optional. We don't really have to do that. So I'll just do a little bit. A little dark up here. stuff and then his iris so he's looking up at us so iris like that and pupil just there like so and then his eyebrow so frowning real heavily so his eyebrow is like here yeah, so it comes along his eye up this way to about there it goes up and then up the line down there and then this is real hairy and crinkly right but we'll just draw in the shape first Might be some texture lines and things just here. Kind of like that. You can add more of those hatching lines if you want. I'll just color it when I'm coloring the whole thing. I'll just add a dark color. But if you want to like to do it like the manga, you know, just add like loads of this hatching. And then around there. Okay, and then sort of frown line. Here, sort of, again, like it's done with, you know, pen and ink, so it's lots of hatching lines like that. And then like a nose line or something here. And then his other eye, just over here. So it's closed. It goes up and down. Like that. And you're about eye width. So you can probably fit an eye in between his two eyes, right? 
that's kind of the proportion we're dealing with and then you just thicken up this eyelash area just make this a thicker line real dark right like so and then he has another eyelid line just coming traveling across that there and then his eyebrow again real hairy sort of shape Loop. Down. to there another sort of corner edge line and this is all then with hatching and stuff right This is the main shape for the eyebrow and then again if you want you can add some of these matching lines we won't add all of them we we'll just get a general sense do hatching for days and days and days and days but I won't do all of it so a line for his nose again sort of coming around here and there is some hatching over the eye just some shadow lines Some more frowning brow lines. Some like hatching up here as well. Like so. Right, so then his nose. So we got like a nostril here, nostril on the other side, and then it just curves down around. The whole nose is actually drawn in curves down like that. There's like some hatching here, hatching there. Like so, and then another sort of crinkle or something for his nose there. Right, so his mouth, so real big evil smile, right? Even though he's the hero, he's kind of like an anti-hero. Like that. He's a flawed character, but... Like all of us, huh? Right. Then we open it up. Then we add the bottom lip line. It's around there. You get a sense now of the big evil smile. So he kind of has a cloak that covers his mouth. So this line would be that, but it kind of looks like the mouth at first. He's got a shadow underneath his nose, right? So we've got some extra details here. So top lip sort of line, and then like a shadow underneath the nose. So like hatching here. Right, and then maybe just thicken up this line a little bit. 
just to sort of show there's a shadow underneath. Okay, so teeth, right? So the main thing about teeth is you want to make sure you get a line in the middle, right? And then the teeth come out from that and we can actually see the gums. So two curve out either side, right? So he draws them in basically, draws them all in. Coming up, and we kind of go up higher and it gets a little bit smaller as we go up. So one, two, how many? One, two, three, four, and a tiny one here. One, two, Should there be one more? One, two, three, four. No, oh, and a small one. Yeah. Okay, and then like there's a top layer kind of drawn in here. So like lighter, lighter lines. So the whole teeth aren't really drawn in on top. And then it's quite dark here in the corner. So these are like his gums. We got some hatching coming down. It's quite dark inside the corner of his mouth here. And then there's just some hatching coming across here. There, and then a dark shadow here as well. Right, and then like a bottom lip sort of line there. A little bit of hatching coming out from the side of his mouth. Right, so as I said, there's a cloak, right, that comes across the bottom of his chin. Goes out there and his jaws come up from here. So we get a big jaw line that way jawline there and this goes up the side of his face towards his ears like that all right and then his ears kind of come out here they're in line with his bottom eyelid there bottom of his ear lobe there because his head is tilted forward, so when you're doing portraits, if a character is facing forward like straight, the earlobe lines up with the nose, right? When you're looking at it. But when a character tilts his head forward, that perspective gets warped, so they're higher up. Right, so the ear is much higher up here. It comes down to his sideburns there. Right, so you have the starts to sort of sideburns here. Right. Do, 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 do. And like some hatching on the side of his face. Is there a scar there? I think there is. Right, and then his neck, big thick neck, coming down from his ear lobe. Like that, and then like a neck muscle, shadow, 
there. Like that. And then we have cartilage lines inside the ear. So the easiest way to start this kind of thing is like this sort of letter J. Sort of line that goes down like that, right? So it, it always reminds me of a letter J. Depends on how detailed the animator or drawer does it. It's kind of it always reminds me of a J. And then you can add more stuff inside if you want. Optional. And sometimes there's hatching and shadows and things like that in different spots. Right, and then sort of the rest of his cloak then just comes down. This is all black colored. Now, depending on if you want it, if you're doing it manga style, this is just black. If not, you'd add sort of these sort of texture lines, you know, fold lines and stuff. And then you color it sort of dark gray. But if you're doing it like a manga, you just do it black. Right, so then his hair then spikes off the page because it's an extreme close up of him. And then we can just see his side of his head, sort of this zigzag line. This will go pretty much off my page, I think. Yeah. And then his fringe comes in, curves down, loads of these, loads of these spikes. We've got like another fern line there. Or a scar, I'm not sure. This curves down, goes back up. Goes down, goes back up. Same sort of process. No trick to it, you just add these curvy spikes. And then you color them black. And that's it. That is how to draw guts from Berserk. Thanks for the request, Nino. Anyone else have requests like this that I don't normally do, head over to Patreon and I'll get right on it if you can afford it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.